And he will bring this one back. An interception return for a commander's touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Point after here coming up. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bring it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner, they can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. He's going to try and take off with it. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. That second down play nets a minus four. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. The commanders bring it out the nickel package on third down. They'll set up to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Well, CD, you see some of the injuries that have popped up for this franchise and obviously hoping to get these guys back sooner rather than later. Yeah, and these guys, they've been hearing the mantra next man up since their Friday night light games in high school. It's three simple words, but they're absolutely perfect to use, and everyone has adopted them. Next guy up, do your best. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll look to throw. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Pass the 20, and he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. But well, no surprise to see that one, partner. The league's number one defense coming through with a huge pick six. And it's plays like that one that have made them the most feared group to face this year. Offenses, they're trying to figure out how to work around them rather than work through them. Big time impact playmakers scattered throughout the unit on every level, and they can change a game at a moment's notice. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 14 to nothing. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Taking it about the one. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Atlanta 
Allen now coming out on the field. The partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much because you're right. You get the extra rest. You get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. They'll go option to the short side. And the ball is knocked out. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And he is going to bring this one back to the house. It's a commander's touchdown on the scoop and score. Well, Charles, not only did they fumble the football, but they're starting to fumble away their chances here a little bit. We've got a three-score ball game now here in the first half. And the last thing you want to do, partner, is help the other team with what are avoidable turnovers. You want to hang on to the football because you're already playing against a good team. You're just making it easier for them by giving them extra opportunities. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. It's good, and before you know it, it's 21-0. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They're sitting in first place in the division. They've got an open date on the calendar coming up next week. So, Charles, you and I were talking about this before the game. This one for them kind of has some extra importance. It certainly does because if they can get the win here and pad their lead a bit or at least keep pace. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. A nightmare of a first half for him. And that's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect him to go to the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. On first and ten, Rich throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Looking to throw on second down. Rich. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. to throw. Rich. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away but could not. A big loss there of about seven yards on first and goal. So now it's second down. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? Looking to throw. Rich got his man complete over the middle. That's Reeves. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. Back to throw. Rich. Touchdown! A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Boy, CD, what a start for them. Still in the first quarter, they're absolutely blitzing them. All the points that they put up, I'm not sure what you say on the other sideline right now. I think it's as simple as this, partner. The way that they're playing, there's no limits on what this lead could become. 
Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. So that drive spanned five plays, and the result a touchdown for Washington. So this not what we expected. 28 0 here in the first as another kickoff is away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Falcons ready to take over. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think, kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive, because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Back to throw. A complete to Drake London. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. But the numbers for London last week, five catches, 65 yards. And he was able to get open there, but that's not always easy against this bunch defensively. We are deep enough into the season where numbers count. This is number one rated defense in the NFL. He'll have a tough time. Back to throw now on first down. Looking middle, and that's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he wisely will throw that one away. The Falcons send out their punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. With the football changing hands here and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Now a throw here to his running back. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. On first down, Rich over the middle. It's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Seven catches, 95 yards third in the league in receiving yards, and that's a strong number. That means he's being consistent each and every time out. Throwing on first down. Rich firing quickly here, and that's complete. So, Charles, you look at this offense, and what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if we look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0, then lost 5 of 6 and went out in the first round. But I think if you get toward mid-November, the Thanksgiving time frame, and you're still doing this, that's when things start to get real for a ball club. To throw on second down. Rich, quick hitter here, it's complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. On first and 10, Rich. And a quick throw here, that's complete. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. On 
on second down. It's Jennings, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That one, a first down pickup of eight. This running game so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead him to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Looking to throw. Rich, that's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And the Commanders are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the 7-yard line. Operating from the gun. Rich throwing middle, and it's complete. Only a yard of the completion. It's second and goal. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You talk about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. They'll look to throw on third and goal. The quick slant caught. Touchdown, Washington. A five-yard touchdown. And the Commanders open the lead up to 34-0. Now, first quarter, and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it's stealing it and scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. They are all over them. Extra point attempt to follow here. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. So plenty of fireworks here early. 35 to nothing now as the kick is away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Well, these guys certainly need something good to go their way because this first quarter has been something of a disaster for them trying to move the ball. But that completion there maybe can get them focused and moving in the right direction. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. He'll look to throw. Got London on a slant. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Up the middle they go. Hooks. And he carries this one past the midfield stripe and into commander territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second and three. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 
They'll look to throw here. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. He'll drop to throw into the hands of London. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll set up a throw. Oh, he's got his tight end pitch complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much needed conversion there on third down. First down, he'll drop to throw it. Right back to Pitts again. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Now they'll run it on the taunts. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he is out of bounds here. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Back to throw here. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. A very costly sack there on third and goal. Pushes him back big time. And now you figure the field goal team coming on on fourth. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. Third and goal, trying to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. Looking to throw. And that will be incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here is Washington now to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. On first down, Rich. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. 
A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10, right at the 40. Back to throw, Rich. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Second down and five. Here's Jennings on the toss. And he's going to be stopped well behind the line of scrimmage. And that's pretty much going to wipe out their gain from first down. That's going to go down as a loss of five. And it brings up third down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense. A little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them. But they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, Rich. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. I don't know if he was just working through progressions or just unaware of the pressure, but no matter. Excellent work by the defense to get him to the ground before he could escape the pocket. Washington going to send out their punter, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. The Falcons on third down. Two for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Now back to throw. Throw over the middle. Going to be caught here by Pitts. And he's going to have a Falcons first down. And he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. They've looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll drop to throw. Got a man. It's London. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. And that catch, he just hit number 800 in his NFL career. And just think, that puts you in top 35 range all time in the NFL in terms of... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. They'll run on first down. Jennings. And some pretty fancy footwork that time. Able to spin forward, and they're going to give him four yards on the play. On second down now, it's Jennings. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. It's a pickup of 12 and a commander's first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Let's go now. 
On first down, it's Jennings. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. To throw on third down, Rich. And he comes back with one complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just could not find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion, and now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got it first and goal. Here we go, Shaq. Cougar 19. Operating from the gun, Rich. He's got it, touchdown, Commanders. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Commanders are able to widen their lead here in this first half. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds. And obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point right down the middle, and the route is on here in this first half. A drive that time of six plays, and the result, a touchdown for Washington. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. And here now come the Falcons. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game. so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm about to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. Second and one, if people want to run the football, this is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They're going to look to throw. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. He'll look to throw. Got this complete to the tight end pits. Now they got to get to the line quickly. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. The Falcons send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. 
There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, you run to set up the pass. Here, it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Throwing on first down. Rich, he'll get this to Jennings over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards there, good for a Washington first down. A final shot before break. Rich, and this will be caught by his big wide receiver. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a rout. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL here in week six. Well, we get our trip around the NFL with an interesting one right off the bat, and it's the Ravens out in front as that game moves towards halftime. Lamar Jackson has thrown a touchdown pass. From there, let's head off and check out a second game, and they have the lead over the visiting New York Jets. The Rams locked in a tight one, but this is a game you feel they've got to have. Finally, let's get over to Inglewood, see what's happening with the Chargers at home at SoFi Stadium. And they trail in that one to the visiting Las Vegas Raiders. The Raiders trying to gut this one out as it would be a good victory for them if they could get it. Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race. Very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half, let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Second half about to start. The Commanders have the lead. They'll get it first as we are back underway. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Rich, and this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Now a give right side. Jennings. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football for triple option, you've actually called that play. Well, I'm not quite sure how he got away from that first tackler, but he won't even be able to get it back to the line of scrimmage there as the defense rallies behind him. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Looking to throw on second down. Rich. Looking middle, and that's complete. 
And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Looking to throw. Rich. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Commanders take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, partner, he has carried them in this ball game, throwing the football. All four touchdowns through the air, and that's really helped them get this nice lead. And I know it's a team game, but right now, he is truly the focal point. Every touchdown his team has so far has been the result of his arm. How about him throwing it downfield, creating big plays? I don't know how you slow him down unless you can make him uncomfortable in the pocket. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. start the drive and the Washington pressure gets to him he will go down that one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack and you get the feeling Charles yeah he's got the two sacks now but he may get more here we still got a quarter and then some to go and the way that he is playing this game it reminds me of one of the best golfers in the world who can use every club in the bag and make a great shot. That's what he's doing with his pass rush moves right now, showing a little bit of everything. They have no way of stopping him. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone. They need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Here's a give up the middle. And he'll take this one up to about the six-yard line. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to be summoned here on fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation. So they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments for Ben to repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. On second down, it's Jennings. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 
47 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Even the most elusive quarterbacks have those tough days where they can't avoid sacks, and this is one of them. Third time he's gone down, he might develop some happy feet now, want to escape the pocket and try and gain more yardage with his legs. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Operating from the gun, Rich. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And that will extend their lead even further. That kick, by the way, Charles, a career long. Well, we did watch him in pregame, and he hit from this distance, so not a surprise. But there still is something exciting about it, carrying it over from practice and pregame to actually doing it in live action. Atlanta regains possession of the football. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. A lot of ground left to make up, obviously, a lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. And they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. And caught by London. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. On second down, they'll run it here. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And he's going to have a Falcons first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short definitely was a great time to dial one up. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's gonna be brought down at about the 16. On 
On second down, they'll run it here. And they get to him quickly here as he stops right around the 13. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Falcons are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. A great effort there. His fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Falcons are able to eat in just a bit to this sizable deficit. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Extra point splits the uprights. So they do get one score back, but still a long way to go here in the third quarter. Atlanta's 11 ready to go, and they kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Still comfortably on top, third quarter, as they start things here with a first and 10. begin the drive with Jennings on the ground. He'll get a yard. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Back to throw. Rich. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. On third down. Rich. Drops it off in the flat to Jennings. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game, and this continues as we see here. Coverage, not been very good. Soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw. Rich. Over the middle, it's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. On second down now, it's Jennings. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays, and they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage to throw on third down. Rich. This is Jennings. And they get him down about two yards shy of the line to gain. A third down pickup of five. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. 
So out of bounds on the punt, and the spot will be, the side judge says, right at, yeah, right at the 35-yard line here. Now the Falcons' offense gets ready to head back onto the field. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. On second down, Hooks, and he'll get it down to the 47 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Right back to him on first down. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back to throw now on second and ten. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. The offense on third down, they've hit on half of them, 5 for 10. This time they face a third and two. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to have a Falcons first down, and he was able to get it by plenty, a gain of eight on third and three. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this, and you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And this one is right down the middle. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. In the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. As they try to finish things off in this fourth quarter and that current five-game win streak, looking like it's going to go to six. They start the drive with Jennings. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
59 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass.